Hey, what's up guys? Node Investor here. Let's take a look at these crypto markets. I'll be going over the BTC charts here. What's going on? We're finally getting a little bit of a bounce after, for the most part, a pullback week. We saw that rejection from that 9100 level that we were expecting. So not surprising to see that big pullback. We saw the big shakedown over the weekend, and since then it's just kind of been grinding lower. But it is bouncing a little bit here today off of an important support level. So we will be going over that, as well as a few alt names that I'm watching here, showing some good relative strength versus Bitcoin, and some that are finally breaking down here after a very strong run. So let's get to it. First off, let's get to the Node Insider site. If you are not aware, we are running a promotion through the end of January, I will link the promotion code and the links to these sites here in the video notes, but you can check that out. You'll get $20 off of your first payment if you go and use that promo code when you sign up. If you want to learn more information about what the site is, what it has, what kind of information you'll see, go check that out at learncryptotrading.info. There'll also be a link to this as well. This will give you a little bit of an overview as well as some of the information on pricing and subscription and all that, how it works. So let's get to it. Looking at the market stats here first for btc it's still reading caution now that it is bouncing off of the red it's been in the red the last couple of days going from weak to caution as we have seen this little bounce play out over that 8200 level the trading bot strategies have gone flat the four hour strategy went flat last weekend following that shakeout and then here finally the daily strategy went flat uh, yesterday and that was not surprising. We were expecting that as it was kind of reading weak. I was waiting for that last daily candle to update. And it did. So a few names on the trending list here today. Aeon still continues to come off the lows. Looking pretty good. A lot of small cap names I've noticed have been cycling in and out of this list. And that just kind of gives us a good feel for what the overall market structure looks like. It's mostly these small cap names. You're getting a little bit of pump and dump action here. Uh, and just a lot of rotation there, but there are a few names standing out. Cardano, we will look at here. Very good relative strength. Uh, list continues to show well. Uh, Binance coin coming off the bottom, as well as some big cap names. Ethereum, EOS is another name that we'll be watching here. So looking at the bot status before we go, uh, some of the alt names here. Some of the ones that are stronger, again, Binance, Dash, EOS, ETH. And this is versus BTC. These are the BTC pairs. Uh, and then... Cardano looking pretty good there as well. So we'll look at a few of those. But first off, let's get to the BTC chart here. So a couple of key things to note. We've seen this bounce off of a very important level. This 8200 level did not want to see that uh, close below there yesterday on the daily chart. And it didn't. Showed some good action there. And on the way up, now that we've broken down from that 85, 8600 level, that's the first resistance on the way up. And you can see here the last several candles as I record this went i mean almost to the penny 8500 and are just pausing here a little bit and then above that the little range that i've been watching here is 8600 so small window about a hundred dollar range but that's the first key resistance on the way up if this downtrend that we saw start last weekend is to continue We've seen a lower high couldn't even crack 8800 and then finally rolled over bouncing off of 8200 yesterday and now we're getting this first little bounce into 8500 would not surprise me to see a little bit more upside, maybe 8,600. Then after that, it's just going to depend on what the price action looks like going into this little range here above 8,600. But another thing that I'm going to be looking for here over the weekend is maybe some sideways action, a little bit of a pullback. I think that'd be healthy if we saw a double bottom retest of that 8,200 and then a bounce. That would give a lot more strength to this support zone, and that could set up for some good upside testing retesting that 9k however if it rolls over and starts to break below 8200 then the next level down is really that key psychological level not much below at 8k and then this 78 to 7600 level generally don't want to see that broken because that would really start to paint a bearish picture on the daily and the weekly charts anywhere above that level still creates a higher daily low a higher weekly low on those time frames and really sets up for a good reset and another attempt at breaking above 9k we've been watching that level for quite some time this was a significant resistance level the 200 day moving average some horizontal price level a downtrend line 
uh, retracement level on the Fibonacci's. And so it was just a key level. And after a big run up coming off that $6,400 level all the way to the 9100 level, it's just not surprising that we're seeing some breathing, some pause after that. But if we zoom out and go to the daily chart, so far, this bounce has come right to the 22 EMA on the daily. As I said, ideally, it'd be best if it held up here and just started to consolidate above this level. And then that would set up a nice little base from which it could break out to the upside. But if it did pull back further, holding above this 8K, 7800 level would be ideal as that would still maintain the breakouts over this big reversal pattern that we saw. There's a couple of you know, support levels you can draw that way. That would still hold that up as well as create that higher daily low, higher weekly low. So that's really the most I wanna see it um, come down if it continues to come down. Because if it doesn't, then you know this bigger pattern that we've seen, this broader downtrend of lower lows and lower highs will continue most likely if it breaks below that in my opinion. So for now, just gonna take it one day at a time, look at these shorter term time frames. I think uh, the action today has been you know, somewhat neutral, a little bit of a bounce action made for a nice quick trade. Uh, if you're quicker on that, if you had some dip orders uh, you know, into that 8200 level, that made for a nice little quick bounce trade. Now that it's hit 85, it's just kind of where do we go from here? Keep, keep an eye on those downside levels. If it does retest, double bottom wouldn't be bad, but on the way up, 8600 is probably the next target that I'm going to be watching here today. A couple of names that I'm watching versus BTC that are still looking very positive overall, holding up well in terms of relative strength. Cardano was one of them we just saw on the trending list. And the thing I want to note here, let's zoom out a minute here and just look at the big picture, the daily chart. After a significant pullback in many of these names for the last several months, six months in this case, it's just been forming this big low, this big support zone. And many of these names are attempting to start taking out some of these resistance levels that have just been areas where the sellers have shown up over the last several months, testing those highs again. Cardano is one of those that has been looking good. I've talked about this one here a few times over the last couple of weeks on these videos, and it's just been taking out these resistance levels one at a time. You see a little bit of pullback right back to those levels, and now it's marching higher and it just continues to look good all around. The volume's really starting to come in here off of the lows. So certainly names that I'm watching, the big picture reversal in many of these big cap alts is something to make note of. It's starting to show up in a lot more names. And I think that just bodes well for the overall altcoin market, especially versus Bitcoin. If Bitcoin can continue to go up in price over the next several months, as the alts outperform, that would just be the best case scenario for crypto investors and traders. As generally speaking, we've seen the opposite of that over the last year and a half or so where generally bitcoin has outperformed and the alts just got really hammered and then when bitcoin rolls over the alts get hammered again and when bitcoin pauses you know you get the little mini alt rallies but it's changed a little bit here over the last couple of months and especially the last couple of weeks where now we're seeing them move a little bit more in sync and the alts are high beta names again which means if Bitcoin goes up 5%, the alts go up more than 5% and vice versa. And so that's generally better in my opinion in terms of kind of some of the predictability and some of the technical analysis it just really helps when they're in sync that way. But all, Cardano is certainly one I'm watching here. Again, looking at the near term, just continues to make higher highs, higher lows, testing this near term resistance again around that 530 level, looking for a potential breakout in that name here, another one that I'm watching high on my radar is EOS, looking very good here. Has been setting up on this pullback for the last couple of days, finally clearing a little bit of resistance here near term on the EOS BTC pair. And this blue zone that I have highlighted, this is that big breakout level on the daily chart. Again, very similar pattern to Cardano. Let's take a minute and just zoom out there. And you can see this big reversal starting to form here. Again, this goes back to August of 2019 and finally takes out our level that has not been able to clear. And then here in most recent past, we saw a big breakout, pullback, a little bit of a throwback, bouncing off, little shakeout here today, and then popping above range with some above average volume. Overall, that's very positive for the bulls. That's what you wanna see. So definitely one to be watching here. The EOS USD chart, very similar, pulled back to the 22 daily EMA, had a little shakeout and then a quick reversal and now it looks like it wants to go higher. My target on that one is around that $4 mark would be the first major resistance to be watching. 
and then several targets over that. But that's what I'm watching here on EOS. Another one here to be noting is Binance Coin. Showing some good relative strength here over the last couple of days. Held up pretty good versus BTC on this pullback this week. And overall, just kind of sitting tight here. But if we go to the daily chart, and again, that's what I'm using a lot on many of these alt BTC pairs, just because it's really showing the broader trend trying to switch over. You've seen the bullish crossovers and a lot of these moving averages. And so we're starting to see this potential reversal taking place in a lot of these names. And so Binance Coin certainly one I'm watching here on this pullback as it pulls right back to these daily moving averages on lighter volume. And so as long as that pattern of higher highs and higher lows continues, things are looking well overall for the alt space. On the other hand, names like BCH have broken down. If you call it, if you joined the live stream yesterday, uh, we did look at this one I mentioned. It was probably one that was looking like some downside here as it was wedging up. Here's the lower trend line that I was watching. Let me clear some of these here. And clearly broke down very quickly and just had a quick spike shakedown. But it is now seeing that bearish crossover on the moving averages. Not surprising. Uh, we were looking for that after that semi-climactic move we saw last week, the pullback. I honestly thought we'd see a little bit of a higher bounce, which would have made a lower high either way, and then the rollover, but kind of just wedged up, and you know it looked like that was it. And during the live stream, I said, keep an eye on that lower trend line. Looks like a good short trade, and sure enough, very quick spike to the downside. Similarly, Ethereum Classic had a big move up here recently, and it's showing similar price action here. Was wedging higher here going into yesterday, and then finally starting to roll over. It looks like it's starting to make these lower highs and switching gears and pulling in again. So not bullish across the board. You certainly have to be a little judicious. Pick your names wisely. Uh, it's not an across the board rally in the alts, but we are certainly seeing a lot more positive action. The big question is going to be, how do they react if Bitcoin really starts to move lower, breaks that 8K level? Uh, in my opinion, as is generally the case, I think the alts will also retreat in tandem and generally outperform to the downside as well. So if Bitcoin goes down 5 6%, not going to be unusual to see the alts drop 10 15% or so. A couple of quick names that are moving quickly here. Uh, we saw Engine pumping here a little bit. If we go to that daily chart, it did rally right to the prior breakdown point here. You can see that that's around that 1,020 uh, sat, 1,030, uh, and had that quick pump higher. A lot of volatility at this name here. Just there's, uh, I wouldn't call it news. It's more of a pump and dump announcements, that sort of thing, but certainly moving it and it's trying to get back over that range. So it's been in play here. A few others' names. Uh, let's go back to the trending list. Aeon has continued to do well this week. A lot of volume coming in. Not sure what's going on with the volume there. First, I thought it was some wash trading happening again, but. Um, just significant volume. Not a project I've really followed lately. I know, uh, you know, they they were a popular project here about a year and a half ago, and so certainly got a lot of attention. But looking really good here with the last week. Just continues to rally. Has been on the trending list here for most of the week, and just really spiking higher the last two days. Getting a little extended here in the short run, but certainly something to make note of on some potential pullbacks here. Another one I'd be watching here is ETH. Now, granted, the bigger picture of ETH still looks relatively uh, bearish here, but over the last month or so, it has formed this double bottom reversal and had a very quick move off that low, which you know officially broke out from that neckline and rallied right up to the next resistance level around that 1960 and 195. And it's now pausing around that zone. Let me zoom in here. I'd really watch this one for a potential leg higher doing a measured move from this double bottom i'm going to just use the shorter one here and go to the neckline if we extrapolate that out from the neckline we can see that you know the target on here is right in the middle and in fact it hit it almost perfectly back here there's a wick maybe hard to see here on the video but there's a little wick there so that was certainly the first target now it's going to be interesting to see if it just kind of consolidates puts in a little handle and then sets up for another break outside of this range and really starts to confirm the broader alt reversal that we're seeing. Again, this is potentially the beginning of reversal. Keep the big picture in mind. This broader weekly chart is just still very much in a downtrend. 
but these are the potential early signs of an attempt to start reversing potentially a big double bottom on the weekly chart and we've got a long ways to go before it, you know in retrospect looks like yeah that was a good double bottom but the signs are there the volume starting to come in you're seeing some pretty good reversal patterns showing up on the daily charts and so all around i'm liking the way the alts are looking here as we kick off 2020 and it's just so early on still we've got a lot of interesting events coming up for many of these names most notably the having in bit for bitcoin here in may that's certainly going to be a, a an, an event to watch i don't believe it's fully priced in yet especially not after the having it's going to really change the fundamental picture for the broader market here but if we go to the broader crypto market cap here again this is including btc now there's been a clear break of this downtrend also starting to test a horizontal resistance level which lines up very closely to bitcoin and that makes sense because bitcoin still represents over 70 percent of the overall crypto market cap but we're seeing this big reversal start to take place here a little bit of a rally a pause right below that resistance level all in all looks positive all around and certainly is setting up for another breakout above that 240 billion dollar mark 250 billion is this next level up and then from there you're looking at around you know 260 to 280 as your next major moves to the upside if this near-term pattern that's starting to emerge this near-term trend can continue this higher highs and higher lows that we're seeing off of this reversal here near the 180s on the btc or in the crypto market cap but that's going to be it for today guys just wanted to do a quick market overview again caution remains uh the broader trend has changed here we are seeing the first attempt at a bounce i would not be surprised to see a little bit of a uh, chop around here but I'm going to just take it a little bit easier over the next couple of days. I do have some positions and mostly the alts here. Some of those names I mentioned that are starting to outperform. Definitely going to keep an eye on those. And for now, we'll see how Bitcoin performs here over the next few days. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.